action. They are ready for you, my my leader. They await your truth. It's not truth that matters, but victory. Twenty years after World War One, optimism would be undone. The fateful tree of Versailles was all too easily defied. The depths of the Great Depression fueled German unrest and aggression. And from 39 to 45, 60 million more would lose their lives. But how did Europe descend once more from fragile peace to total war? How is Germany infected by a poisonous leader's bleak objective? A leader who would instigate a regime of power built on hate? Come with us now as we pursue the history bomb of World War II. We must rise up and take a stand, bring glory to the fireland. Our children, this Aryan race, will save us from our past disgrace. Cast out the Jews, they make us weak. Guilty for our shameful defeat, we have su suffered so dreadfully. Let us now secure our destiny. Hitler seized control of Germany in 1933. They defied the Treaty of Versailles rearming and marching into the Rhineland and Australia and Austria and invading Czechoslovakia. On August 1939, with tensions rising across Europe, he found an unlikely Russian ally named Joseph Stalin. May I propose a pact? Our, our two great nations should not attack. Fighting together will lay the foundation for our European domination. Okay, I will take this chance. Forget an alliance with Britain and France. Good, to Poland. Let's attack quickly. And we'll split the land. 50-50. On September 1939, Germany and Russia invade Poland with an agreement to split the country between themselves. Britain's Prime Minister, Evel Chamberlain, had always aimed to maintain peace with Germany, but this time he could not ignore Hitler's aggressive intent. Now, with regards to the state of Poland, I can assure you it's all in hand. We must stay calm. I am quite sure, knowing here at Hitler, he will soon withdraw. Sir, sorry to butt in. It's 11 o'clock. We haven't heard from Berlin. Good lord, we can't hold back anymore. I have no choice. We are at war. As Britain and France prepared for war, Ger German forces tore through Western Europe with a new form of highly intensive warfare known as Blitzkrieg. They overran France with speed, and by May 1940, the Allies were forced back to the English Channel. Now, I've heard about Jerry's famous Blitzkrieg, but I never thought they'd attack this devastating speed. They pushed us all the way back to the, bre to the beaches. We dumped our tin, and now I'm down to my breeches. Well, we best keep going. I hope we have some boats. We've got 300,000 ties float. Do you think we'll return to the section? Well, who knows? Right now, there's only one direction. Against the odds, 30,000 Allied troops were evacuated at Dunkirk, but they left behind a lot of men and valuable equipment. With Western Europe overrun, Britain now stood alone. In the summer of 1940, Hitler attempted a knockout blow to the Royal Air Force to pave the way for a full invasion of Britain. By Jove, they mean business this is Bakta. I don't think we're far from disaster. Yes, they're coming thick and fast, but our new Spitfires are up to the task. I do hope you're right. We must fight at all costs. If the RAF fails, all hope shall be lost. There's another squadron over the channel. Here we go. Don't amble, scramble. Hitler's plans to invade Britain was stopped in its tracks as the RFA held firm, much to the light of Britain's new Prime Minister, our finest hour. 
German bombers can or German bombers continue to pound British cities for months without a breakthrough. Eager for progress, Hitler looked east. My leader, we've lost another bomber. I fear this glitz can't last much longer. Blast. In that case, we march east to Russia. Stalin's not going to like this. On June 1941, German forces advanced against Russian troops, who until this point had been on the same side. Then, as if taking on one superpower was not enough, in December 1941, there was trouble in paradise, as U.S. forces in Hawaii came under a surprise Japanese attack. What in the world is going on? These Japanese, they're just too strong. We've taken out the battleships, and our planes have burned out on the airstrip. A sneak attack, they've got some nerve. Don't worry, they'll get what they deserve. They've won this battle, but watch out, Japan. Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor brought the USA into the war. This would prove pivotal. And on June 1942, the U.S. struck a decisive victory over the Japanese at the Battle of Midway. On October, the Allies would have further success in the Egyptian desert. Shoot, this he is berserk. The Egyptian sun is even hotter than her. Toughen up, mate. Endure the pain. Let's get about, get let's get ready for the battle at El Alamein. Our chances of victory are already slight. Now they expect us to fight them at night? Just put your faith in John Montgomery. This is a man who can lead us to victory. The Allies' victory at El Alamein proved a decisive turning point in the North African campaign. Meanwhile, on the Eastern Front, the Germans were suffering heavy losses in the, sto in the snows of Stalingrad. They were short on supplies and the Soviets were resolute and determined. While Hitler continued to send divisions east on June 1944, the Allies launched an ambitious attack on Europe. How are y'all? Get out of the way. America's here to save D-Day. We've got as many troops as you could want, so up and up the second front. We'll flood the beaches with our guys and take the Germans by surprise. Our tanks and guns will never miss. They're never going to let us forget this. The D-Day landings gave a foothold in Europe, from which they pushed forward towards Nazi Germany. It was in plain sailing, but after 11 months on the 8th of May, 1945, victory in Europe was secured. While Nazi Germany surrendered, Japan refused to back down, and the USA decided to unleash, unleash two knockout blows. My God, what have we done? Hiroshima and Nagasaki, well, they're just gone. The nuclear age has been unfurled. We are become death, destroyer of worlds. On the 15th of August, 1945, Japan surrendered to save their lives. The entire world had been transformed around this truly global war. Now the guns have ceased as nations side to side in peace.